1,500 feet, and you step out the door of that aircraft, reenactment ends and reality begins. team is to remember, honor, and serve World War II veterans. We realize in a few short years all those veterans are going to be gone. That means our mission is going to be even more important because we need to make sure their stories carry on. A big aspect of our mission is also to educate about what World War II veterans did. And as the veterans tell us, the real heroes who are still, who never came home, who were buried overseas, we need to keep their stories going. for jump school and other activities. We're with the veterans. We're making sure they're comfortable, listening to their stories. Because that my job was to keep everybody alive, even even the ones we didn't like. Well, Hunter, he's coming. Well, Hunter first, Hunter first general. That movie that they had out and where they formed it, you know, I've been told that it's nothing like it. It is a bond that you hear about that happened in real wartime and military that you just cannot find anywhere else. And it's such an honor to be a part of a dynamic team like this. Every day at home you think about what you did when you were out there at ADT and, and the experiences you went through, the people you met, and it's something that comes to mind every day. Part of it's because you're still hurting from all the soreness. And, everything that happens. We've had a number of prior service airborne soldiers that come through our training and they will tell you to the man that the training that they receive here is better than what they received when they went through Fort Benning's Airborne School. Those wings have two sharp points behind them. Being the first woman to go through jump school training, pretty amazing experience. I know what training was going to be involved with, I know the instructors, so for me it was easier maybe than for someone coming in fresh. I had to do some pretty intense physical training to be sure I was up to that. So somebody had told me nine years ago when I was recruit going through here that a few years down the road that I would actually be the guy doing all the yelling and all the hollering and yelling all the commands through the day. I would have thought they were crazy. People can come in here and I can send them home stronger, confident in themselves, and that's going to have a ripple effect through their families, through their lives, their jobs, their careers. If you ever wanted to do anything amazing in your lifetime, this is your opportunity to do it. <laughs> 